Time for another Kickstarter Top 5. Black Hole Council by Orange Machine Games is a game for four to eight players and it's a negotiation and deduction game where you get to decide the fate of 32 different planets. Each player gets to have their own secret agendas and you're trying to manipulate the other players in order to gain influence and become the new senior counselor. This game just makes me feel like I get to play a politician in the political scenes of Star Wars and what doesn't make you feel better than being a little bit dark side and sending a planet off to a black hole for getting in the way. This game is designed by Don Eskridge who has done other major games such as The Resistance and Avalon so he has a proven track record for successful large group style games. This campaign runs until February 1st, 2018 with one $25 pledge level and it's already exceeded that goal. Spirits of the Forest by Thundergriff Games is a game for 2-4 to four players ages 14 and up and plays in around 20 minutes. In this abstract-ish game, players take on the roles of the elements and try to collect the most spirit symbols to gain nature points. And this is done by collecting forest tiles which may contain favor tokens and then placing gemstones. The art to this game is very eye-catching and unique, and the components look fantastic, especially as you move from the regular edition to the deluxe edition, which offers many component upgrades, including player stones and wooden tokens and so on. You can back this game starting at $14 US, and they have absolutely destroyed their funding goal already with their campaign running until January 26, 2018. Kingdoms of Erden, King of the Mountain, is a game for 2-4 to four players, ages 10 and up, and plays in 15-45 to 45 minutes. Kingdoms of Erden is a card game where your goal is to be the king of the mountain by either draining your opponent's cards and knocking them out of competition, or through a set collection mechanic where you acquire 35 points of a single faction and thus gaining faction dominance. I actually had a chance to play a prototype copy of this game and the components are great and the gameplay is really fun for both casual gamers and seasoned gamers. You can check out my review video for more information and some gameplay examples. You can get in on this game for as little as $5, and for the amount of replay and the quality of the game and the cards, this is really an easy back if you enjoy this style of game. The campaign runs until January 31st, 2018, and has already met its funding goal. The Tokyo Series by Dark Flight Games is a Kickstarter that covers three different modular games that can be played alone or integrated into a larger play experience. Tokyo Jidu Hanbaiki is a Japanese vending machine game which contains over 20 mini games within and differing game types including dexterity, deduction and more. And games for that run approximately 5 to 15 minutes and play multiple player counts. Tokyo Metro is a game for 1 to 4 players and runs around 2 hours. It is an economic simulation of the Japanese metro system. The game includes a stock element, train building element and much more. It also has elements reminding me of an 18xx style game, however it seems much simpler in nature and more accessible to uh, different gamers. Tokyo Jutaku supports 1-8 to eight players who take the role of architects who are creating abstract homes on unique plots of land. This game has elements of abstract puzzle games that I loved as a kid. There are multiple pledge levels depending on which games you are interested in and it starts at $35 or you can get all three games for $99. This campaign runs until February 4th, 2018, and they have already far surpassed their funding goal. Hero Path Dragon Roar is a 2-4 player game, ages 10 and up, and plays in 60 to 120 minutes. And this is a game of fantasy adventure where the heroes vie for power in order to be the one with the most that can slay the dragon. The heroes work together to stop the evil forces, however, there are also times to be selfish and to go against your fellow heroes. This game has a fog of war element as places of interest are discovered as the game progresses and these places can help the heroes to level up or they can purchase items and other things. And as players gain experience, the enemies also become more powerful, keeping this game interesting. With resource management, there's dice rolling, RPG elements, and many many nice looking miniatures, this game has a lot to offer and should appeal to a number of different style gamers. This can be yours for a pledge starting at $49 on up, and this will run until January 30th, 2018, and has already surpassed its funding level. Alright guys, this is Lee from Geek City USA. Thank you for checking us out. Be sure to like and subscribe, or comment down below, and I'd love to interact with you down there. Or check us out on Facebook, and I'd interact with you there as well. Thanks for checking us out. Have a good one. Take care.